we'll see if it stays lit once it's actually lit. There we go. Welcome to Jazz Vespers at St. Peter's Episcopal Church. We are uh, doing both in person and online, uh, live streaming. You are welcome to come back. Uh, we have, as I said, a very open space with lots of air ventilation, a time of scripture, prayer, and wonderful jazz with our musicians, Star Kalahiki over there in the Malka corner, and over here, Abiud Flores on bass, Dan Del Negro on piano, and back there at the Makai door is Reggie Padilla, the band director and tenor saxophone player. Yes! Let us hear the first number, Orange Colored Sky. <laughs> Out of that orange colored sky Thank you. 
God is our light and our salvation, our refuge and our stronghold. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O God, for with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set lights in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Our next number is Tenderly. <laughs> the trees tenderly, the trembling breeze embrace the breeze tenderly, then you and I came wandering by, and lost in the
took my lips You took my love So Returning to a reading for our readings, the uh, lectionary selections that you will hear uh, on Sunday if you attend church on Sunday. So today we are going to hear our first reading, which is from Genesis. It begins, they, that would be Adam and Eve, heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. God said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Okay, well, that fear of the snake seems to have stuck because our lector for this Sunday, our reader, uh, took a look at what the lessons were and said, "Ooh, <laughs> and we don't even have snakes here in Hawaii. But um, there, is, there is this, uh, if you will, enmity between a uh, woman and the descendants of the snake and of the woman that seems to have stuck. But this story is really quite striking because of the great freedom that God gave to Adam and Eve. They could eat of any tree in the whole garden except one, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And it's a classic tale of temptation and, um, th you know, the, they had been told if you eat from that tree, you will die. It's not, you don't want to go there. Well, it's kind of like a kid that's told not to do something, and then that's exactly what they want to do. And so there is this temptation reality that's part of our human soul. Then there's this rationalization of why, and then there's the passing of the buck. She did it. No, the serpent did it. And, of course, God, we're all, we're none of us are free from responsibility when something happens that we know we were not supposed to be involved in. And yet, in this story, uh, there are consequences. The snake is told that from then on, the snake will be traveling the ground, and there will be enmity. And the woman is told that childbearing is going to be a challenge, and it's not going not gonna to be easy. And the man is told that he will have to toil, and that will not, also not be easy. And they get exiled from the garden and yet they did not die they did not die and god this whole biblical story is about god's faithfulness and following with humanity even as we succumb to temptations and even as we fall it doesn't mean there won't be consequences but we will never never be abandoned by god
probably most of you recognize that, David Bowie's Life on Mars. Uh, this reading is the psalm in response to the Genesis reading, and you can maybe picture that of the desolation of Mars uh, speaking from there, whatever that figuratively, whatever that desolation is within your life. The psalm reads like this. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you. Therefore, you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for him. In his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Our next number is Somewhere Over the Rainbow. is a hopeless jumble and the raindrops tumble all around heaven opens a magic flame when all the clouds darken up the skyway there's a rainbow highway to be found leading to your window pane to a place beyond the sun just a step behind the Really do come true. 
Where the clouds are flying behind me There's yours melt like eleven drops Away above the chimney tops That's where I invite you to join me in prayer. I will end each petition with, Hear us, O God, I invite you to respond. Your mercy is great. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the power and gift of forgiveness with which you bless us. Guide us in learning your ways and moving ever closer to your will. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. We pray for peace in our world, fractured by distrust and violence. Guide us away from arrogance, greed, and unbendable ideology into a realization of our shared humanity and a desire for the well-being of all people. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. We pray for our, our world as it continues to work to contain the COVID virus and for those manufacturing and distributing the vaccines that their efforts will bear fruit and lives will be saved. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Guide us in taking the steps we need to take to protect the beauty and health of our home, this earth. Aid us in using the earth's resources wisely and sustainably and instill within us a respect for all that you have created. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. With summer upon us, we celebrate with youth who are graduating and pray for the safety and ongoing learning of all our youth, that they will be inspired to continue to learn and grow into positive self-awareness of who they are and who God created them to be. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. We remember before you the poor and neglected, the homeless and destitute, the elderly and sick, and all who have done to care for them. Use us in bringing healing to those who are broken in body or spirit, turning their sorrow into joy. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Bless our musicians and all who fill our souls with beauty and joy. Strengthen them in their gifts and in your spirit moving in and through them. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Creator God, you've called us to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Provide us with that peace which the world cannot give, and a song in our hearts that rings with joy and gratitude, through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Before our last number, I just want to say very special thanks to our 
fabulous musicians. Star Kalahiki again over there in the Makai Malka doorway. And Abid Flor Flores on bass. Dan Del Negro on piano. Reggie Padilla, band director and tenor saxophone player. Our party number is Stralsburg St. Dennis. Here in person, or if you are live streaming with us, 
big mahalo to Manny Deao, who makes that possible. Aloha.